what's up guys welcome back to my channel hold on let me turn my hair off okay so today i actually have an appointment to get my lips done so i'm just gonna get them touched up i don't know if you can tell but once you start getting your lips done one one side like dissolves faster than the other side so you have to constantly keep getting them touched up well not constantly but i do it like every year um so it's been like almost a year since i got them done so i'm about to go just get them touched up a little bit i also might get botox i don't know yet maybe just like a few units um i'll have to wait and see i'm honestly really scared to get botox because i've never gotten it before and i don't really like the frozen look you know how like some people's face just looks crazy but i just want to prevent wrinkles so i might just get a few in my forehead or something but i don't know i'm gonna talk to her about it first i'm also really nervous because i only let one person touch my lips and she is in vegas so i had to find someone else here in miami and i actually found her through social media she was like the top 100 injectors in the u.s i'm pretty sure something like that so that's how i found her and hopefully she's really good her stuff looks really good but you know you can't always help instagram so we will see how everything turns out um my daughter is behind me you probably can't see her but i have to bring her with me so hopefully they don't say anything because you're not supposed to bring anyone but you know she ain't got nowhere to go so she's coming but yeah um so my appointment is in like 30 minutes so i'm gonna have to hurry up and get there because of traffic and everything and i don't want to be late um, I'm not gonna film inside just because I have my daughter and she's crazy anyway so I have to have her under control so I'm probably not gonna be able to vlog but I will talk to you guys as soon as I'm done. Okay guys so it's been about two days since my accident that you guys seen and um, honestly the past few days have just been super super rough so to give you the whole story as you can see in the intro i was heading to get my lips done literally got in a wreck on the way i had a bunch of stuff to do that day and this weekend but obviously i didn't get anything done um so just to tell you guys about what happened so um i was on the way to the appointment and it was like pretty far away from my house and we weren't even on like the highway i had just gotten off the exit and basically i came to a stoplight it was red me it was like me here at this van beside of me and um it turned green we were like the first people at the intersection it turned green so we started to go and then this big ass truck which i will insert the picture that red truck came and like hit the van first so it took off the top of the van and then smacked right into the driver's side of my car so i don't really know um obviously he ran a red light but i don't know if he was like trying to make the light or if he just wasn't paying attention hopefully he just wasn't paying attention because that light was red for a long time but he was going really fast because he plowed through two cars so i guess he took off like the top of the van and then the van um slammed one it's brakes but then literally the truck hit me right in my side because i didn't even see the truck coming because of the van was there so i was completely blindsided um my daughter was on the side where it got hit which i was really upset about because she used to ride on the other side and i had just moved her car seat over my car is too small for her car seat to be in the middle i was really upset about that because she literally got hit on her side um but my daughter is okay she hasn't shown any signs of anything really so um once we got hit pretty much whenever the truck first hit me i feel like i blacked out um because i didn't know what was happening i got hit really really hard like this side of me i hit my head i don't know if you guys can see from here but it's like a scab now but literally like the whole top part of my head was super swollen um but i like blacked out for a minute and then once i realized like okay we just got in a wreck i my heart literally dropped because my daughter was not crying um but then i like turned around and she was just super red i think she was like in shock um but then she started crying after and then she actually was covered in glass she had a good bit of glass 
on her. I don't know where it was from. I know my windshield broke. Um, and I don't know what else broke. I have some like cuts and stuff on me. Once we got hit, whatever, I turned around, make sure she was okay. She started crying. So I literally like opened my door. It was like super hard to um, get out because the truck was right there and then my door. So I think he hit the top of his truck on my actual door and then like the rest of his truck hit the back of my car. I don't really know, but my door was like really, really thin and even worse than the rest of my car so um i like tried to open the door it was hard to get out but i eventually got out I literally ran ran around got my daughter out of the back um because i couldn't open her door it was like stuck in the truck was right there so um i went on the other side like got her out or whatever and then literally while i'm like getting her out of the car seat the guy who had hit us was pretty much in my back seat um <laughs> asking us if we were okay he was super super nice so hopefully it was just like an accident um he like wasn't trying to do whatever on purpose i don't know he didn't really explain anything just because um for one his english wasn't that good he spoke spanish so um yeah once i got my daughter out she calmed down i was literally in the middle of the freaking road with no shoes on i guess my shoes flew off um i was like literally standing in glass with no shoes on and didn't even know it but there was a cop behind us so he pulled up it wasn't his district or whatever so he had to wait for other cops to come but he like pulled up in the meantime got my shoes everything out of my car for me and then i took that picture of my car and then i went um over to the side because we were kind of near a church so we were in the um, grass area of the church and my daughter was just like playing and stuff. She was pretty fine after. Um, and to be honest, I didn't even look at my car after that. Pretty sure my car might be totaled. Um, I won't find out until next week. So, but yeah, I had to get towed. The truck got towed and the van was actually fine to drive. It just took off like the front of the van. Um, and the guy who was driving the van was super, super nice too. He was like, everything's going to be okay. Like I was freaking out mostly because, um, of my daughter, but I don't know. Like everyone kept asking me if I was good. Like they were trying to call the ambulance or whatever. Um, but I was like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Like as long as my daughter was fine, I was fine. And then I was just picturing me being at the hospital with my daughter in the room, getting into everything. I was like this is not gonna work out like i'm good <laughs> and honestly i could not even feel anything on my body like i knew that i had hurt my arm because when i first got hit that's like the first thing that i felt was my shoulder but i couldn't even feel that it hurt like i knew that it hurt but i just i couldn't feel like any pain and i couldn't feel my body at all everything at the accident went super super smoothly um but I did have to end up getting a lawyer because dealing with the insurance is the worst thing in the world. Like, they're literally sabotaging me at this point. Um, <laughs> okay, I feel like I'm like an 80-year-old crippled woman. Before we even go into that, once I got home from the accident, I realized that I was in a lot of pain my arm started hurting and then i was like oh my god my head hurts and i rubbed my head i had a huge knot on my head now it's like scabbed up i think it's still swollen i don't even know i started getting like hot flashes that night i was dizzy migraines i still have a really bad headache and then like this side of my body hurts my back even my hips like everything hurts my neck i feel like i can't even turn my neck i literally feel like an 80 year old woman and i got beat up but um i'm going to the doctor on monday so hopefully i'm gonna do like um i'm going to a chiropractor so i'll do stuff for like my back and my neck so it should feel better hopefully um and then i guess i just have to wait for the swelling to go down in my head i don't know i haven't went to the doctor yet just because um of my daughter i did not want to bring her but i was able to find an office i can go to and bring her it's just like a small office so that's good but, um, yeah, so I had to end up getting a lawyer because dealing with the insurance people is the worst thing in the world. For one, they won't even give me, like, a rental car. I don't know what is wrong with these people, but, um, 
pretty much they are setting me up, which I can't even say that much, I don't think, because I do have a lawyer, but just to tell you about the rental car. Um, so, I drive an Audi, right? They got me a Toyota, which is fine. I'm not complaining about the car. But the only thing is, it's spring break in Miami, so all the Toyotas or, like, cheaper cars um, to rent are all sold out around me. So, there's more expensive cars. Not nothing crazy, but there's, like, an SUV, other cars like that that I could get that are close to me. But the insurance must, wants me to get a Toyota, even though my Audi is probably totaled. Um, and the closest Toyota is an hour away, so they think I'm going to somehow drag my daughter in an Uber an hour away with her car seat being crippled to get a damn Toyota. Like, Miss Girl, I'm sorry, but it, that's just not going to happen, you know? Like, not it's really just not even possible at this point. Um, I've had, like, other appointments I literally had to drag my daughter to. And it was terrible taking a freaking one-year-old in a car seat in an Uber and trying to, like, oh, my God. It was literally so bad. So, um, yeah. Oh, and then they were like, well, you should keep your Uber receipts. But just to let you know, it gets really confusing when it's a three-car accident. Like, just acting like I wasn't going to get my money back from the Ubers. I'm like, okay, but... A car literally hit two cars, so you guys are gonna have to figure it out, ma'am. Like, I don't know what else to tell you, girl. I don't work there. Yeah, so, anyways, I had to end up getting a lawyer. They're handling everything for me. Hopefully, I will have a rental car um, by next week. I also have to go out to, so my car got towed. The place is like probably an hour away from my house. Um, I have to go there to sign pretty much saying that my insurance or their insurance can um, take my car um, to get it looked at. So I have to do that. So hopefully I have a car by then because I'm yeah, not trying to Uber another hour away. But um, we will see what happens. And what else? Oh, so about my appointment, I called after the accident um, to like tell them that I'm not going to make it because I'm the type of person, I will, like, know if I don't make it. You know, like, I don't like to just not show up. And plus, they charge you anyways because they have your credit card on file. Never answer. Actually, every time I've ever called them, they don't answer. So, I'm, I'm not even sure if they even have a real place at this point. Um, but, yeah, didn't answer and then charged me. So, I might be letting go there because it was just not meant to be. I will end up getting my lips and stuff done once all this is settled. Um, I'm actually going to go to a different place, which is a little bit farther away. But I really wanted to go to her anyways. I just did not want to drive that. But you know what? I'm going to just do it. Um, so about my car, I don't know if it's totaled. I really don't. Everyone was like, it probably is. Um, just because it was pretty, pretty bad. But... I mean, I guess I wouldn't be that upset because I want to get a new car anyways. But even if it's not titled, I'm probably going to get a new car just because I want a bigger car for my daughter. Just because I really don't want her riding on the sides. Like, it just really freaked me out and I'm going to be scared to have her on either side at this point. Um, I really just want to put her in the middle. I would feel much better. But my car did hold up pretty good. Like, you can tell that red, that red truck was pretty messed up. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just been chilling. I literally haven't done anything. It's hard for me to even lift my arms. Like, I don't know how I got my hair up. It was a struggle, but I was like, let me just get ready and do this video. Um, but yeah, my daughter is perfectly fine. Like, she literally started playing after the accident and eating her snacks. So, um, it's important to have your seatbelt on i did have my seatbelt on and she was in her car seat obviously so it's really important to do that because honestly it would have been bad if i did not have my seatbelt on car seats like they can protect kids so much it's crazy like they are so safe in that little area i wish i had a car seat but anyways um that's pretty much it i'm pretty much just going to be recovering i feel like i'm being super negative right now and my energy is just so low but um, I'm dealing with other personal stuff too that I'm not going to talk about.
But anyways, this is pretty much just a sign saying that I should leave Miami. I mean, you can have a rack anywhere, but the driving here is super crazy. And actually, one of my friends here told me that he got hit pretty much the same way here. And um, they didn't have insurance. So he pretty much got screwed. So, um, I don't know. Miami's like definitely one of the top dangerous cities to drive in. Like, I think it might be worse than LA because it's so crazy here. And I saw a woman on the highway the other day, like, blacked out and drunk. And she was driving. She was, like, literally, her eyes were almost closed. So, I don't know. People are just nuts. Everyone needs to just be safer when they're driving. Even me, like, we literally look at our phones and stuff if we're, like, at a stoplight. Or it's just dumb because we can't even go, like, 20 minutes without looking at our phones, you know? I think we all just need to, um pay more attention i'm not mad at the guy who hit us at all like i don't even know him and not only that but he was super nice about it you could tell that he felt bad his wife came after and like apologized and asked if i needed anything all that so um i think it was just like you know he just wasn't paying attention but everybody makes mistakes and i'm just happy that we survived and we are here so um, yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna take a little break to get my energy back up. Hopefully, feel better in a few days. Um, I feel like the day after and two days after, you're like the source. Like, hopefully, it goes down. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll try to keep you guys updated as much as possible. Hopefully, I can find out about my car if I go car shopping or whatever. I will try to vlog for you guys. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. Ow, <sighs> my neck. Um, don't forget to share, like, subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos. And I'll see you guys next time.